Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you all are doing extremely well. So today in this video, we are going to solve problem of the day on the Geeks for Geeks platform. So today's problem is print diagonally, right? So as usual, first of all, we will be understanding the problem statement and the logic part and then we'll be coding it up. So let's get started with the problem statement. But before proceeding further, make sure to subscribe my channel if you haven't done so. It will really motivate me to create more such content for you and I believe the channel is going to be helpful for you. And make sure to join our telegram community too the link for the telegram channel is given in the description itself with that note let's get started with the problem statement now so the problem says given a n cross and square matrix so a return all the elements of its anti diagonals from top to bottom example has been given right so we have been given a n cross and square matrix we have returned all the elements of its anti diagonals from top to bottom so if you will see this square matrix of size 2 cross 2 right so here what would be the sequence so first we have this 1 2 3 then 4 and that's what we are having 1 2 3 4 for n equal to 3 we are having the sequences so first this diagonal is 1 then 2 4 we have then 3 5 7 then 6 8 then 9 and that's what we are having the sequence 1 2 4 3 5 7 6 8 9 so what our task is we have to complete the function downward diagonal which takes an integer n and a 2d matrix a as input parameters and returns the list of all elements of its anti diagonals from top to bottom. So that's what our task is, and even they have mentioned the expected time complexity and auxiliary space as well. Well, the question is more of observation based, right? So if you will observe it, you will be able to understand the pattern, and that's what uh, then probably you can code it up from your side, right? So yeah, let's understand the pattern first, and then we'll be having a look on the implementation part too. so here you can see okay let's say this is the matrix we do have of size 3 cross 3 so what you can observe one thing here so first right so first if you will see we are getting the elements what are the elements for this if i'm asking you, what would be the elements the sequence that would be written 1 2 4 1 2 uh, 4 3 5 7 Six, eight, nine, right? Now here if you will see right, so first they are covering all the elements so uh, from the row part. You can see uh, 1, 2, 4, 3, 5, 7, these are the diagonals 1, 2, 4, 3, 5, 7. So the first element is the, uh, these are the elements of the first row, right? So one thing to observe here is that first we will be taking care of the, now uh, first we will be taking care of the first row and then next, uh, next what do they have? Next they have, next they have is the diagonal. 6, 8, then 9. 6, 8, then 9. So here you can see 6, 9. These are the elements of the last column. Of the last column. 3 has not been mentioned here because right, if you will, 3 will be occurring in the first, this will be a part of the first row as well as the last column. Right? Right? So that's why uh, when you will be, we will be taking care of this condition of uh, handling this, these diagonals for the last column part, right? We will be, we'll be starting our loop from i equal to 1 so that we are not considering this element repeatedly okay you, you must be able to understand when we discuss further so one thing if you will observe here right let's let's have a focus on that so this uh, 1 is on 0 0 position first right then this 2 is on uh, is on what position 0 1 now i want 4 next i want to uh, go upon or to traverse this 4 so if i am incrementing uh, let's say let's zero one call it as i j right so if in uh, i i am incrementing what one and from j i am decrementing one so we'll be getting one zero and then one zero position you see what do we have we have four similarly if you will see here right so three three is on what position uh zero two right so next i do need is five so uh let's call it as i j itself zero two we have so if i'm incrementing one in i so i'll be having one decrementing one from j i'll be having one uh, so at one one position what do we have five and five that is needed to be a part of our diagonal next again if we are incrementing one bar i decrementing one from our j so we'll be having two zero and at two zero what do we have seven so this is what the pattern is right you must be getting it right this is what the pattern is now if we are uh, considering about the last column thing right so here if you will see right six eight we do have so 6 is at what position 1 and the, we can say n minus 1, right? n minus 1 column. So n values were 3, so at 1, 2, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 2. At 1, 2, we have 6, right? So again, 
uh, considering going to a side position so if you are incrementing one if you are incrementing one in i and decrementing one from j we will be having two one and at two one we have eight right and this is the last element that we have at uh, two comma two okay so just this is what the pattern was this is what uh, the sort of observation thing was there in this question rest is just implementation right so the same we have implemented right you can see the same we have implemented so for in uh, this is for the first we'll cover the first row and this is for the column okay so for int i equal to zero i less than n i plus plus j value has been initialized with i so you see right first uh, we need for every column for every diagonal right so what are the first element the elements of the first row right so what value will be changing what value will be changing one two three one two four three five seven likewise right so j value has been initialized with uh, basically column value will be changed right so one two three one two three okay you must be getting it okay so j value has been initialized with zero k value with zero so while j greater than equal to zero so this loop is to take care of that pattern thing that we are following right i minus i plus one j minus one okay so while j greater than equal to zero so j value is zero zero greater than equal to zero the condition is true so we are adding the element that is at a zero zero position so what is the element one so one will be added in the array list then next k value will be incremented and j value will be decremented so this condition will become false will come out of the while loop next i value will be incremented and that is going to be one so j value is going to be one now and k value would be zero so while j greater than equal to zero j value is what one one greater than equal to zero the condition is true so we are adding arr dot at a of kj k value is what zero j value is one at zero one what do we have two so two will be added two will be added then we are asking to increment the value of k so k will be one and decrement the value of j so j will be j was what one so j will be zero now so at one zero position what do we have four four one zero we have four so four will be added then again uh, k value will be incremented and j value will be decremented so j value will be what that would be negative so this while loop condition will be false then i value will be incremented it, it is going to be two now two less than three the condition is still true so j value will be two k value will be zero while j greater than equal to zero the condition is true so we are adding the element that is there at zero two position so what is the element at zero two three so three will be added then we we are decrementing the value of j and incrementing the value of k so k is going to be one and j is going to be j is going to be one right so one one we do have right now one one at one one what do we have five so five will be added then again we are uh what we are doing is we do we have one one we have so again we are going to increment the value of k k is going to be two now and j we are decrementing so it is going to be zero now Zero greater than equal to zero, the condition is still true. So we are adding the element that is there at that is there at two zero position, right? So what do we have at two zero position? Seven. What do we have at two zero position? Seven. So seven will be added, right? Now i value will be now next time j value will be negative. This condition will be false. Now i value will be incremented. That is going to be three, right? And three less than three condition will be false. So we have we have covered this much. We have covered the sequence till here. One, two, four, three, five, seven. Now we are pending with this six, eight, nine. So for this, we have another for loop. We are starting from one. I already mentioned why, right? Because we don't want to take this three twice. Okay. Now this three, or basically, I mean this diagonal itself. Okay. So for i equal to one, i less than nine, i plus plus, j value has been initialized with i, right? K equal to n minus one because now see we are covering for the last column. The sequence that is what we are following. So while j less than equal to n minus one, we are simply adding the element that is at a j k position. So j value is what one, k value is n minus one. So at if I am talking about this one, so zero one two. So at one one two, what do we have? One zero one 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 two. We have six, right? So six will be added. Then we are incrementing the value of j and decrementing the value of k, right? Right. So that's what we are doing. So next uh, eight will be added, right? Likewise, sir, uh, nine will be added. Right? So you must you must have got the pattern, right? So I helped you in understanding for the first one. Later on, you can do the dry run for the 
for the remaining uh, for the remaining elements right so i hope you must be able to understand the pattern that is being followed for this question if you are once clear with this right and implementation is uh, easy only right so i have provided the code in the description you can refer that thank you so much for watching everyone i hope that you must be able to do this question thank you everyone bye bye